Welcome. In this section, we would be solving how to solve assumption problems for UPSC. Now note, UPSC assumption problems are a little different from other exams. How? In most of the exams, when you are asked which of the following assumptions is valid, what does that imply? That implies that reading the passage before that, what do you infer so that you come onto that passage? However, in UPSC, what is asked is once you have the passage you read the passage and based on that what are the assumptions that can be drawn so basically consider it as uh, uh uh, officer reading a report. Now when the officer is reading the report, the report is there. Now based on the report, what can be explained? So it's more of uh, inferring the content. So here the word assumption is important and that's what has been one of the major things in this UPSC paper. Now analyzing the 2021 answer key, coming back and rectifying the questions for 2021 uh, based on the official key. Now as we said, what we need to do here is we need to read the passage and based on the passage what can be assumed right i'm repeating this assumption does not mean that what you need to keep in mind before answering the passage no what assumption here means is that read the passage based on the passage which of the following statements can be assumed correct so the first passage here talks about inequality violates the basic democratic norm the equal standing of citizens now equality is a relation that obtains between the persons in respect of some fundamental characteristics that they share in common so it is a default principle and people should not be discriminated on gender, race, caste, creed, and so on. These human conditions are morally irrelevant. So the passage here wants to convey the meaning that inequality is something that violates the basic principles or the basic principles of democracy. And what is required is when we focus on the term equality, we must say that the person should not be discriminated on any of the grounds, be it the gender, caste, creed, religion. The idea that one should treat persons with respect not only because some of these persons possess special features or talents, uh, but because persons are human beings. So the main idea is it's not that we are respecting someone because they are extraordinary in certain, in certain things, but the basic reason is they are human beings and that's the basic uh, thing that can be drawn from the passage. So based on the passage, which of the following assumptions have been made? Now here, uh, equality is a prerequisite for people to participate in multiple transactions of the society from a position of confidence. Definitely correct because the whole passage focuses on equality as a default principle. Clear? So this is a correct statement. Now occurrence of inequality is detrimental to survival of economy. It's not mentioned that inequality is detrimental. It simply says in a, uh, inequality violates the basics of democratic society society right so two is not a correct option then what we need to understand is uh, equal standing of all the citizens is an idea that cannot be realized even in democracy this is not at all said in the statement so again an incorrect statement the next says the right to equality should be incorporated in our values and day-to-day -day political vocabulary that's correct and is clear from the first line itself that is inequality violates the basic democratic norm and the basic democratic norm that is the default principle says that uh, everyone should be treated equal that means right to equality should be incorporated in our values and day-to-day -day political vocabulary so one and four are the correct options for this question right coming on to the next question policy makers and media have placed the blame for skyrocketing food prices on variety of factors. Now, when media and policymakers say why the food prices are rising, they say it's because of fuel, bad weather, non-food production, land, and those are some of the reasons. Increased emphasis has been placed on the rise in the demand for the food from most populous emerging economies. Now, it has been say, said that emerging economies have huge demand 
Nothing has been said about production or crisis. Note, it only focuses on a huge demand from the uh, the emerging economies and it seems highly probable that mass consumption in these countries could be well poised to create a food crisis right with reference to the above passage which of the following assumptions can be made oil producing countries are one of the reasons for high fuel uh, food prices no not at all uh, it says that if the fuel price rise then it would have an impact on the food prices but it does not say that oil producing nations are responsible for it so that's not the correct option right the next is if there is a food crisis in the world in near future it would be emerging economies not at all mentioned here right why it is not at all mentioned here because it simply says that when uh, there is a surge in the food demand that would be seen in the populous countries which are the emerging economies but it does not say that there is a few food crisis in uh, in the near future and that would be in the emerging economies it simply says that there is higher demand there right so again one is incorrect two is incorrect so both of these are not a valid assumption now assumption i repeat again based on the passage we are understanding which of the statements are correct okay the next passage is a very interesting passage about the developmental economics and it says that what is meant by growth in gdp so the theory says if the gdp increases right uh, then the households community and the government have more funds so they can make their life better their income can grow right today gdp has assumed such a significant place in the development that if someone mentions economic growth we know they mean growth in gdp so it simply says that gdp is indicative of growth right so the passage has the following assumption rising gdp is essential for a country to be a developed country no this is not said why it only says that rising gdp is indicative of a growth in the economy it does not say that the economy would convert into a developed economy so first is incorrect rising gdp guarantees a reasonable distribution of income to all household not at all mentioned or explained in the passage in any means it simply says with rising income people have more fund so they can have a better life so both uh, one and two are incorrect they are not valid assumptions here clear so this was another question that we did the next question is a very interesting question this question is about fig tree uh, fig is considered as sacred in the countries like india east asia africa and uh, where other trees are not present fig is one of the tree that is found and it provides food for wildlife so what happens is uh, numerous fruit eating animals survive close to the fig trees a uh, lot of birds bats continue to visit it and it says that sacred fig trees may promote fugivorous abundance because fruit eating animals are coming to this sacred tree under favorable microclimate a lot of seedlings from other species would also grow around a fig tree so based on this what of the following assumptions can be made so based on this i can assume that fig tree is one of the keystone uh, species in natural forest because in a microclimate other species would also dwell close to it so that is a correct statement then fig trees can grow where large woody tree species cannot grow now note it says that it can grow where other large trees are absent it is not talking about woody species so this is an incorrect option sacred trees have a role in biodiversity conservation correct because it simply says that sacred fig tree promotes fugivorous abundance that is fruit eating animals and therefore the biodiversity conservation takes place so three is correct here fig tree have a role in seed dispersal because there are various bats and birds which are closer to this region so one three and four become the correct option for this question a very uh, important thing i'm repeating it again and again read the passage based on the passage what of the following assumptions are uh, concluded so it's actually uh, more of a conclusion that is to be dealt here the next question is computer increasingly deal not just with abstract data so uh, the idea is here 
the author is trying to say that everything is on computer aeroplane is uh, is a computer on wings arrival of internet of things is important then we have everything from road signs to mri scanners to prosthetics everything would be seen or baked through computer now that's one of the important things that is mentioned in the last line hackers have already proved that they can take remote control of internet con connected cars and pacemakers that means they the author here is trying to say that computers are not safe hackers can actually have control over the computing systems right so a becomes the right inference from the passage based on the passage i'm reading the passage i can infer that it says that with computers so much things have been done but still the last line is a crucial line here that says that we understand that hackers can have a control over the cars and the pacemakers indicating that computers are not completely safe right the next question here approximately 80 percent of all the flowering species are pollinated by animals including birds and mammals but the main pollinated pollinators are insects right so it says the main pollinator is insect and this pollination is responsible for variety of food uh, and medicines to us one third of the world's agriculture is dependent on pollination so this passage is focusing on the importance of pollination why pollination is so crucial it says that bees are one of the species that dominate the taxa when it comes to pollination and they are crucial for more than 400 crops pollination is an essential service that is a result of relationship between plant and animals and reduction or the loss of either affects the survival of the both right so this passage focuses on the importance of pollination now the first sentence is sustainable now you have to find out the assumption again the sustainable production in india cereal food grain is impossible without diversity of pollinating it's nothing said about the uh, the concept of uh, food grains right food grains getting impossible uh, the next is uh, like uh, it's not focusing the passage is not at all talking about food grains getting impossible right so this is not no way the right answer monoculture not again talked about pollinators become scarce in cultivated area devoid of natural vegetation that's true because it says that most of the pollinators are around the agriculture crops and uh, they dominate uh, the bees dominate the region right so pollination is essential and such as uh, the effective pollination requires resources such as refuge of pristine natural vegetation so from the last line we can say three is a correct option because they require natural vegetation so in an area devoid of natural vegetation pollinators would become scarce diversity of the in, uh, insects induces diversity of the plant that is correct because more the species who are pollinating more the variety of plants that could be seen so that's what is being mentioned in the passage itself importance of pollination so three and four are the right options here so three and four become the right option the next passage now this is an important passage uh, this passage talks about research now research is on a pollutant bpa it says that one of the embryonic stem cells was taken out and treated with bpa and it was found that it causes heart diseases diabetes and developmental abnormalities so the idea was to detect the bpa toxicity towards specific germ layers so based on the uh, paragraph what could be assumed now understand this passage says that the environmental pollutant is harmful so bpa can alter the embryonic development in vivo now let's understand what is in vivo in vitro means outside in vivo means inside so if this is outside uh, if it, it in the tissue culture it is possible so then it would be possible within the uh, body also so the same mechanism if the bpa is showing toxicity with the cells in outside in the outside medium it would so show within the body so bpa may alter the embryonic development in vivo that's correct 
The next is biochemical or cell based assays are useful in finding out the treatments of the pollution induced diseases. Now it says that there are pollution induced diseases as mentioned, but this passage does not talk about treatment at all, right? So two is an incorrect option here. The last statement says that embryonic stem cells could serve as a model to evaluate the physiological effects of environmental pollution. That's correct because through the embryonic stem cells, we have found out that they have effect. Uh, they are affected by the environmental pollutants, right? So one and three become the right option in this case. The next question says that in certain case, uh, in uh, it is certain that sedation wars, like that person said this thing, this person that said this thing, are breach of laws are not so common. Uh, to be imputed to the wickedness of the subjects as to the bad state of dominion. So if you read this passage, I'll just convey the idea. This passage is trying to say that uh, sedation wars, that is one person blaming another, another person blaming another. It's not uh, the fault of the people. It's not the wickedness of the people of the country uh, because as a citizen, everywhere they have the same passion. Okay, man's natural passion are everywhere the same. But it is because the nation or the dominion was not able to bring the person to a right path. So the last sentence make it much clear that more offenses are committed in one commonwealth than in another. It is certain that the former has neither enough pursued uh, the end of unity nor framed its law with sufficient forethought. And for that it has failed in making quite good it's right as a commonwealth. So the sole idea is the dominion is best which pursues the aim uh, of unity and the laws of good citizenship. So that's the sole idea that this passage is trying to convey. And more importantly, what is being uh, uh, explained in the passage is the fact that the sedation wars, it's, we cannot blame that on the public. We cannot blame, blame that on the people. It's ultimately the dominion which, which decides whether the people would be wicked or not. So it, it's the dominion which pursues the aim of unity and the law of good citizenship. So C is the right option here. The next passage, a very crucial passage. Now understand the language. Most people would agree that telling lies, that telling deliberate lies is wrong except perhaps in certain situations where more harm would be done by telling the truth. Now here, don't understand that the uh, author is trying to say that uh, most people would agree that willingly, if I'm telling a lie, that is wrong. Okay, but there are special situations where more harm would be done by telling a truth. Now this word except here, it's important to note, it's not going with the word lie. It's going with the word agree. Okay, so that's the word that except is going with. So this except does not go with the lie. Okay, read the passage when the except word is here. It appears that this except word is going with the lie. I'm talking about the exception of the lie. No, this except word here is going with the agree. So it's not it's not in the agreement. So there is a disagreement that in certain special situations, more harm would be done by telling the truth. So it's the disagreement about the harm in telling the truth, clear? So D becomes the right option here. So those were some of the questions that uh, we have seen as per the official answer key and the recti rectifications for the same. I repeat again, What's the most important thing that you need to remember for an assumption problem is while attempting the UPSC paper, I'm specifying that again, uh, consider that you are uh, what an officer would do. So officer would have certain report in hand and based on that report, you would have to find out certain valid assumptions, right? And that is what the word assumption here means. So be very specific when you are solving the CSET paper two questions. The passages are not difficult. Just clean this thought out of the mind that uh, there are reading comprehension questions. These are challenging or uh, these are long uh, sections. 
the passages are really interesting if you have been reading newspapers editorials this section would uh, become really interesting and we'll meet tomorrow with answer keys for your gs as well as csed so see you tomorrow have a wonderful day ahead